Episode 3, Intro to Azio. Our script will create a skeleton project that uses Hunter to include G-Flags and G-Log. We will also need Boost Azio for this episode. This flag will let us turn off the I.O. service to demonstrate how async method calls are executed. Everything happens as expected when we call IO service run. But when the IO service is prevented from running, the posted method is never called. Also notice how the app exits after the posted method finishes. Once the IO service runs out of queued handlers, it automatically returns. This means you need to keep at least one handler queued or running at all times to keep a nap looping forever. Unless an error occurs, a handler should start another async operation before it finally returns. Let's give it a try. Our example handler posts itself again to keep the loop going. A real app would usually make another async call at this point instead, such as async send or async receive. Note that our example runs everything in the same thread and function. So the captured references to count, IO service, and count fun remain in scope and valid for the duration of all async operations. You will need to be careful with object lifetimes, references, and pointers in your own apps. If everything goes well, We've created an async loop that counts to 10. Excellent! Now to put ASIO to real use with our Resolver app. Our Resolver app turns a domain name and optional service name into an IP address and port. The 
the IO service will call this lambda when the domain name is fully resolved or an error occurs. Always handle the error first. Let's try to resolve some common web services. Note that since we're providing a service name, the resolver will return the correct port number as well. One final thing, what happens when the remote host takes a long time to respond? We need a resolver that can time out when an operation takes too long. Stay tuned, we'll cover concurrent resolver requests, timeouts, and more next time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to catch the next episode.